given question rope ab is 4.5 meter long and is connected at two points a and b at the same level 4 meter apart a load of 1500 newton is suspended from a point c on the rope at 1.5 meter from a what load connected at point d on the rope 1 meter from b will be necessary to keep the position cd level let us understand given question with the help of diagram distance in between points a and b is given 4 meter and the total length of the rope that is the section ac plus cd plus cb is equal to 4.5 meter weight w is connected at point d and we have to find out this weight w so that the section of the rope cd will remain in horizontal position now at point c if we observe weight of 1500 newton is connected and this weight will act in vertically downward direction from point c so we will show here the direction now because of this weight there is the tension created in the rope that is in the section ac as well as cd and this tension will act in the outward direction from the point c so i will show here the direction of this tension t so here in the, this section ac we will say it is t1 and here i will say it is t2 now we have to find out the weight that we have to attach at point d so whatever is the weight connected there is also tension created in the section cd and in the section db so we have to show now this tension is also act in the outward direction from point d so if we observe here is the length cd so the same tension t2 here develop but in the opposite direction so i will show here the tension t2 that is magnitude will be same but direction is opposite and in this section db here is the tension i will say tension is t3 now we have to find out the angle in between this three forces at point c as well as at point d so first we will find out the angle made by this section ac with this horizontal fixed line so here we will consider here is the angle alpha in the same way we will find out the angle made by this section db with this horizontal fixed line so here we will consider this angle is beta now we will make here one construction from point c i will draw one perpendicular line on this line ab so this is the construction and here it will be point e now in the same way from point d we will show here the perpendicular line and this point of intersection will be point f so we have to show this perpendicular angle now this length a is equal to x so we will show this and this length ce which is equal to length df which is equal to y so why these two are same because cd is in the horizontal position so we will show here this length that is vertical length is equal to y we have to find out the angle alpha as well as angle beta to apply the lamy's theorem for this given system so how to find out this length cd so from diagram we know that ac plus cd plus db is equal to 4.5 meter so ac is given 1.5 cd cb is also given the db is also given 1 meter so we can calculate cd so cd is equal to 4.5 minus 1.5 minus 1 and which is equal to 2 meter so we have to calculate this so it is 2 meter so we know that this cd is equal to this ef and therefore ef is also equal to 2 meter now we will calculate bf so how to calculate this so total length ab is equal to 4 now from this 4 we will uh, subtract this ae and we will also subtract this ef so ae plus ef that is x plus 2 so we can say that bf is equal to 4 minus 
in bracket x plus 2. So if we simplify this we will get bf is equal to 2 minus x. Now it is required to calculate the angle beta and now we will find out the value of x so that we can calculate the angle alpha. So from triangle AEC we can say that this x square plus y square is equal to 1.5 square because this is the right angle triangle. So 1.5 square that is 2.25 so this is the equation number 1. Now in the same way we will find out the second equation in terms of x and y. So in triangle BFD, so here is the triangle BFD. So we can say that BF square plus FD square is equal to this DB square. That is DB is equal to 1 square. So this value is given. Now what is the value of BF? So BF we have find out in terms of x that is bf is equal to 2 minus x. So we will put here 2 minus x bracket square plus df that is y square which is equal to 1. So 2 minus x that is a minus b bracket square. So how we can write this that is 4 that is a square minus 2ab plus b square that is 4 minus 4x plus x square plus y square is equal to 1. So this is the equation number 2. Now if we observe this equation number 1 and equation number 2 then there is x square and y square is the common term. So we will subtract this equation number 2 from equation number 1. So how this subtraction is taking place? So x square plus y square minus 4 plus 4x minus x square minus y square. So this plus and minus x square and y square term is getting cancelled which is equal to on right hand side 2.25 minus 1 that is equal to 1.25. So I have directly written here the simplified form that is minus 4 plus 4x is equal to 1.25. So in this equation only one unknown term that is x. So x is equal to 1.3125. Now we will calculate the angle alpha. So cos of alpha is equal to AE divided by AC. So AE is nothing but X. So we will put the value of X 1.3125 and AC is 1.5. So alpha is equal to 28.95 degree. In the same way we will calculate angle beta. So cos of beta is equal to BF divided by BD. So what is this value of BF? That is 2 minus x and which is equal to 0 0.6875. So beta is equal to 46.56 degree. Now if we observe this point C then there are total 3 forces that will act in this outward direction that is T1, T2 and C. So first we will plot this T1. So how to plot? So T1 is making an angle of alpha with the horizontal. So if I make here one construction that is if I draw here one horizontal line passing through C then these two lines that is this AB and this horizontal line are parallel line and this AC is the common inclined line. So here also angle is alpha. Now so if we consider here is the point C then we have to show here angle alpha and we will draw here this tension T1. Now we will move to the next that is tension T2. So tension T2 is along the horizontal line joining the center point C and D. So from the center point C we will show here this tension T2. Then weight. So weight will act in vertically downward direction passing through the center. So we have to show here and this weight is 1500 Newton. Now for these three forces we can apply the Lamy's theorem. So how we can write this? So T1 divided by T1 divided by sine of angle between other two forces that is in between 1500 and T2 that is sine of 90 which is equal to T2 divided by sine of angle between T1 and 1500 that is sine of 90 plus alpha which is equal to 1500 divided by sine of angle between other two forces that is T1 and T2 that is 90. 
so how to find out this so this total angle above this horizontal line is 180 so 180 minus alpha so we will write here 180 minus alpha and this angle of alpha is known and we can put and we can calculate this term now in the same way we will move to the center d so if we observe here is the angle beta now from this point d if i draw here one construction line then this horizontal line AB and this is also horizontal line and here is the common inclined line DB. So here also angle is beta. Now in the same way we have to show this. Suppose here is the center D then with this horizontal angle beta is made by this tension T3. So we will show here and here is angle beta. Now weight W. So we have to find out this weight. That is, this is, we have to calculate, here is the tension T3 and then tension T2. So, it is in the opposite direction along the horizontal line. Now, from this, uh, Lamy's theorem, at point C, we can calculate T2 and we can use here. Now, we will apply here the Lamy's theorem, that is, this T2 is known. So, first we will apply here W divided by sine of angle between other two that is t2 and t3 so it is sine of 180 minus beta sine of 180 minus beta so beta is also known which is equal to now this t2 value we can calculate from this so t2 divided by t2 divided by sine of angle between w and t3 so it is 90 plus beta sine of 90 plus beta so we can calculate this right hand side term and we can find out this value. So no need to calculate T3 because the question is that we have to find out only weight W so that this line CD or the section of rope CD will remain in horizontal level. Calculated value of T2 2711.1 Newton and from that we can calculate W 2863.6 Newton.